Liv Ullman is a highly respected and admired figure in the world of acting, having made a significant impact in the film industry. Born in Tokyo to Norwegian parents, Ullman began her career on the stage before transitioning to film. She is perhaps best known for her collaborations with Swedish director Ingmar Bergman, with whom she worked on several films, including Persona and Cries and Whispers. These films are considered masterpieces of world cinema and helped to establish Ullman as a major talent. In addition to her work with Bergman, Ullman has also enjoyed a successful career as a director and stage actress. She has been nominated for multiple Academy Awards and has won numerous awards for her contributions to the arts. Ullman's work has transcended the boundaries of film and theater, and she is widely regarded as one of the most talented and influential actresses of her generation. Her ability to bring depth and complexity to her characters has left a lasting mark on the industry, and her legacy continues to inspire and captivate audiences around the world. Liv Ullman is a renowned actress known for her work with director Ingmar Bergman. She has appeared in many of his films, including Persona and Cry and Whispers. Ullman has also had a successful career on stage and has been nominated for several Academy Awards. Do you have any interesting facts or stories about Liv Ullman? We'd love to hear them in the comments below. Throughout her career, Ullman has had many memorable experiences and has worked with some of the most talented people in the film industry. There are many funny, shocking, and sad facts about her life and career that we'll be sharing with you in this video. So, if you're a fan of Liv Ullman or just want to learn more about this classic star, keep watching. We think you'll find her story both fascinating and inspiring. And don't forget to share your own stories and memories of Ullman in the comments below. We can't wait to read them. Liv Ullman, a renowned Norwegian actress, was born in Tokyo in 1938 to a Norwegian father and a German mother. Her upbringing was influenced by her father's diplomatic career, which led the family to move around frequently. But they eventually settled in Norway when Liv was 10 years old. Exposed to acting at a young age, Liv's interest in the craft was sparked when she saw a production of A Doll's House by Henrik Ibsenator. She later studied drama in Oslo, in London. Liv's path to acting was inspired by several key figures, including her drama teacher, Torolf Murstad, who encouraged her to pursue a career in acting. She also cites the influential Norwegian actress and director, Liv Damersnes, as a significant influence. In 1966, Liv's career took a turn when she met Swedish director Ingemar Bergman, who became a mentor and collaborator. He cast her in several of his films, including Persona, Cries, and Whispers, and Autumn Sonata, which brought her international acclaim. Throughout her career, Liv has been a strong advocate for women's rights and has used her platform to raise awareness about social issues. She has also directed several films and plays, further solidifying her status as a versatile and influential figure in the world of acting. Liv Ullman is a renowned actress known for her work in films by Ingmar Bergman. She appeared in numerous noteworthy projects, including Persona and The Passion of Anna. Ullman also starred in Autumn Sonata and Face to Face, both directed by Bergman. Liv Ullman, the acclaimed Norwegian actress, first discovered her passion for acting as a young girl. She was captivated by the performances she saw on the stage and screen and she knew early on that she wanted to become an actress. Ullman's mother was a big supporter of her dreams and encouraged her to pursue acting. Ullman's first pivotal experience in her acting career came when she was cast in a small role in a local theater production. Despite her limited experience, she was determined to make the most of the opportunity. She spent hours rehearsing her lines and studying the other actors in the production. Ullman's dedication and hard work paid off and she received rave reviews for her performance. This experience fueled Ullman's desire to become a professional actress. She began studying acting in earnest and soon landed roles in several high-profile productions. Ullman's talent and dedication quickly earned her a reputation as one of Norway's most promising young actresses. Ullman's big break came when she was cast in a series of films directed by the legendary Swedish filmmaker Ingmar Bergman. The two formed a close professional and personal relationship, and Ullman became one of Bergman's favorite actresses. 
Over the course of their collaboration, Ullman starred in some of Bergman's most critically acclaimed films, including Persona, Cries, and Whispers in Autumn Sonata. Ullman's work with Bergman not only solidified her status as a leading actress, but it also allowed her to explore the full range of her talents. She tackled complex and challenging roles, and her performances were praised for their depth, emotion, and nuance. Ullman's passion for acting has never waned. She continues to work in film, television, and theater, and her performances continue to captivate audiences around the world. For Ullman, acting is not just a career, it's a calling. She is driven by a deep love for the craft and a desire to tell stories that resonate with people. Liv Ullman is highly esteemed in Norway, having been awarded the commander with Star of the Royal Norwegian Order of St. Olav in 2005, a rare honor for civilians. Her performance as Elisabeth Vogler in Persona is ranked 49th on Premier Magazine's 100 Greatest Performances of All Time. Ullman collaborated with director Ingmar Bergman on 10 films, including Persona, Shame, Hour of the Wolf, The Passion of Anna, Fiskninger Okra, Scenes from a Marriage, Face to Face, The Serpent's Egg, Autumn Sonata, and Saraband. Her role as Manuela Rosenberg in The Serpent's Egg is particularly noteworthy. Liv Ullman, the celebrated actress and filmmaker, faced significant challenges in her early career. Born in Norway, she struggled financially and faced skepticism from the industry due to her lack of experience and connections. However, Ullman's resilience and determination helped her overcome these obstacles. To make ends meet, Ullman worked multiple jobs, including as a secretary and a sales clerk. She also took acting classes and performed in small theater productions, honing her craft and building her skills. Despite the financial struggles and industry skepticism, Ullman remained dedicated to her passion for acting. Ullman's big break came when she was discovered by legendary filmmaker Ingmar Bergman. He was impressed by her talent and offered her a role in one of his films. This opportunity launched Ullman's career, and she went on to star in several more of Bergman's films, solidifying her status as a leading actress. In addition to her work with Bergman, Ullman also pursued directing and writing, further establishing herself as a creative force in the industry. She faced additional challenges in these roles, as she was a woman in a male-dominated field. However, Ullman's determination and talent once again helped her break through these barriers and succeed. Throughout her career, Ullman has remained committed to her craft and has continued to push boundaries and challenge herself. Her resilience and creative solutions to the obstacles she faced early on have made her a true icon in the world of film. Liv Ullman was invited to guest star in the final episodes of the popular TV show Sex and the City, set in Paris. Initially, she was thrilled as she and her husband were fans of the series. However, upon reading the script, Ullman felt that she wasn't suitable for the role and decided to withdraw. Ullman owns a cottage perched on a cliff overlooking a fjord in Norway, offering her a serene retreat. In the 1973 film, Lost Horizon, Ullman starred alongside several esteemed actors, including three Oscar winners Peter Finch, George Kennedy, and Sir John Gielgud, as well as three Oscar nominees Liv Ullman, Sally Kellerman, and Charles Boy. Liv Ullman, a prominent Swedish actress, is known for her powerful and emotional performances. One of her breakthrough moments came in 1966, when she starred in the film Persona directed by Ingmar Bergman. The movie received critical acclaim and is considered a masterpiece in the world of cinema. Ullman's portrayal of a nurse caring for an actress who has become mute was praised for its depth and complexity. Another significant moment in Ullman's career was her performance in the 1971 film The Immigrants, for which she received an Academy Award nomination for Best Actress. The movie, directed by Jan Troll, tells the story of a group of Swedes who emigrate to the United States in the 19th century. Ullman's portrayal of the character Christina was widely recognized for its emotional intensity and authenticity. Ullman's work in the theater has also been noteworthy. In 1975, she starred in a Broadway production of A Doll's House by Henrik Ibsen, which earned her a Tony Award nomination for Best Actress in a Play. Her performance as Nora was highly acclaimed for its nuanced and powerful portrayal of a woman struggling to break free from societal expectations. Throughout her career, 
Alman has been recognized for her ability to bring depth and complexity to her characters. Her collaborations with Ingmar Bergman, in particular, have been celebrated for their emotional intensity and intellectual depth. As critic Pauline Kael wrote, Ullman has a purity of emotion that is almost frightening. In addition to her work as an actress, Ullman has also directed several films, including Faithless, which was written by Ingmar Bergman. The film received critical acclaim and was nominated for several awards. Ullman's contributions to the world of cinema and theater have been significant and enduring. Her ability to bring depth and complexity to her characters has left a lasting impact on the industry and continues to inspire actors and directors today. Liv Ullman, a renowned Swedish actress, began her career in the late 1950s. She gained international recognition for her work with filmmaker Ingmar Bergman, appearing in several of his films such as Persona and Cries and Whispers, earning her two Academy Award nominations. Ullman also starred in the critically acclaimed The Immigrants and The New Land, receiving a Golden Globe nomination for her performance. In addition to her film work, Ullman has had a successful stage career, performing in various plays in Sweden and abroad. She made her Broadway debut in 1975 in Anna Christie, earning a Tony Award nomination. Ullman has also directed films, including Faithless, which was written by Ingmar Bergman. She has received numerous awards for her contributions to film and theater, including the Royal Foundation of Sweden's Cultural Award and the French Legion of Honor. Throughout her career, Ullman has been an advocate for women's rights and has been involved in various humanitarian efforts. She was appointed a UNICEF Goodwill Ambassador in 2004, using her platform to raise awareness for children's rights and issues around the world. Liv Ullman, a renowned actress, is known for her unique approach to her work. She immerses herself in her roles, often drawing from her personal experiences to bring depth and authenticity to her characters. Ullman's style is characterized by her ability to convey complex emotions with subtlety and nuance. She once stated, I don't want to show off. I want to show the inner life of the character. Ullman's worldview is deeply reflected in her work. She is known for choosing roles that explore human relationships, emotions, and the human condition. Her performances are often intense and thought-provoking, inviting viewers to reflect on their own experiences and emotions. One of Ullman's most notable collaborations was with director Ingmar Bergman. Their partnership resulted in several critically acclaimed films, including Persona and Cries and Whispers. Ullman has said that working with Bergman was a transformative experience as he challenged her to explore new depths of her craft. Despite the accolades and success she has achieved, Ullman remains humble and dedicated to her work. She continues to act and direct, inspiring generations of actors and filmmakers with her unique artistic vision and process. Liv Ullman was set to play Kate Turhorst in the film A Bridge Too Far, but the role was originally intended for Audrey Hepburn. Hepburn had to drop out due to her high salary request. Interestingly, Hepburn had personal connections to the role, as she had lived in Arnhem, the town where the film's events took place during World War II. She even ran errands for the Allies fighting in the town. And an unrelated note, Ullman revealed in a Norwegian talk show in 2003 that she regularly watches sex in the city and everybody loves Raymond. Ullman also starred in the film Lost Horizon, which inspired Bette Midler's comment, I never miss a Liv Ullman musical. Despite these roles, Ullman is not typically associated with musicals. Overall, Ullman has had a varied career in film with notable roles in both dramas and musicals. Liv Ullman is a renowned Norwegian actress who has made significant contributions to the film industry. She is best known for her collaborations with Swedish director Ingmar Bergman, with whom she made several films during the 1960s and 1970s. Ullman's acting style is characterized by her naturalness and emotional depth. According to film critic Roger Ebert, Ullman has a quiet, introspective screen presence, and she is able to convey great depths of feeling with the slightest movements of her face. Ullman's work has had a profound impact on the film industry, particularly in the area of female representation. As film scholar Susan Hayward notes, Ullman's characters are complex and multidimensional, and she brings a depth 
and nuance to them that is often lacking in female roles. Ullman's influence can also be seen in the trends and techniques of contemporary actors. As actress Julianne Moore notes, Liv Ullman has been a huge inspiration to me. Her ability to convey so much with just a look or a gesture is something I have always admired and strive for in my own work. In addition to her acting career, Ullman has also directed films and worked as a stage actress and director. She has been recognized for her contributions to the arts with numerous awards and accolades, including several Academy Award nominations. Overall, Liv Ullman's impact on the film industry is significant and enduring. Her contributions to the field of acting, as well as her work as a director and stage artist, have helped to shape the way we think about storytelling and representation in the arts. In the 1972 film Pope Joan, Liv Ullman played the role of Jeremy Kemp's daughter, despite being just four years younger than him in real life. This illustrates her versatility as an actress. In The Serpent's Egg, Ullman was the only Scandinavian actor in the lead cast. Her co-stars included Maximilian Schell and Jeremy Kemp, with whom she had previously worked in Pope Joan. In the star-studded film A Bridge Too Far, Ullman portrayed Kate Turhorst, while Schell and Kemp reprised their roles as General Wilhelm Bittrich and the RAF, briefing officer, respectively. Liv Ullman, a renowned actress, is known for her work in films like Persona and The Emigrants, but her life extends beyond the silver screen. She values family and has a daughter with her former partner, Ingmar Bergman. Ullman is also a dedicated humanitarian. She has been a goodwill ambassador for UNICEF since 1984, advocating for children's rights and welfare worldwide. Her personal experiences and values often influence her work, as she frequently chooses roles that highlight social issues and human emotions. Ullman's philanthropic efforts demonstrate her commitment to making a positive impact on the world. Liv Ullman is a renowned actress known for her work in films like Lost Horizon and The Serpent's Egg. In Lost Horizon, Ullman portrayed Catherine, with professional vocalist Jerry Whitman and Diana Lee providing the singing voices for Peter Finch and Ullman, respectively. The soundtrack was also released on Disneyland Records. Andrew Willis sang for Olivia Hussey in the film. In The Serpent's Egg, Ullman starred as Manuela Rosenberg and received top billing, appearing before David Carradine and Gert Ferb. Ullman was also approached to play a role in the final episodes of Sex and the City, but declined the offer. She explained, They asked me to be in the last two episodes where Carrie was going to Paris to meet Boroshnikov, and they asked me to play his ex-wife. I said no only because I didn't want them to be disappointed. Ullman expressed her admiration for the show, but did not want to negatively impact their expectations due to her physical appearance. Liv Ullman is a highly respected actress, known for her work in films by renowned director Ingmar Bergman. Her natural and honest acting style has left a significant mark on the industry. Ullman's ability to portray complex and nuanced characters has set a high standard for aspiring actors. As for the future, Ullman may not be actively contributing to the industry, but her work continues to inspire and influence new generations of actors. She has left a legacy that will endure, and her performances will continue to be studied and admired. For those aspiring to follow in her footsteps, Ullman offers this advice, be true to yourself and your art. Don't be afraid to take risks and challenge yourself. Always strive for honesty and authenticity in your work and never stop learning and growing as an actor. In essence, Liv Ullman's legacy is one of authenticity, honesty, and artistic integrity. Her future contributions will continue to be felt through the work of those she has inspired. Aspiring actors can learn from her example and strive to bring the same level of dedication and passion to their own craft. Liv Ullman, a prominent figure in the film and theater scene, was featured on the cover of the album See the Ocean Blue by the Ocean Blue in 1996. She had a successful career on Broadway, earning two Tony Award nominations. In 1975, she was nominated for Best Actress in a Play for a Revival of a Doll's House by Henrik Ibsen, and in 1977, she was nominated again for Best Actress in a Play for a Revival of Anna Christie by Eugene O'Neill. Ullman also shared the screen with Maximilian Schell in four films Pope Joan, A Bridge Too Far, Players, and The Rose Garden. Their on-screen chemistry was undeniable, 
and their collaborations were well received by audiences and critics alike. These achievements are just a few highlights of Ullman's impressive career, which has spanned several decades and continents. Her contributions to the arts are still celebrated and studied today, and her body of work continues to inspire and influence new generations of actors and audiences alike. Liv Ullman, an actress of immense passion and innovation, has left an enduring impact on the entertainment industry. Born in Tokyo and raised in Norway, Ullman was drawn to the world of acting at a young age. She began her career on the stage before transitioning to film, where she quickly made a name for herself as a serious and dedicated artist. Throughout her career, Ullman has worked with some of the most renowned directors in the industry, including Ingmar Bergman, with whom she had a long and fruitful creative partnership. Together, they created some of the most memorable and thought-provoking films of their time, including Persona and Cry and Whispers. Ullman's performances are known for their depth and emotional intensity, and she has been praised for her ability to bring complex and nuanced characters to life on screen. She has been nominated for two Academy Awards and has won numerous awards and accolades for her work. Despite facing many challenges and obstacles throughout her career, Ullman has always remained true to her passion for acting and her commitment to her craft. She has inspired countless other actors and filmmakers with her dedication, creativity, and perseverance. In the end, Liv Ullman's legacy is a testament to the power of creativity and the enduring impact that one person can have on an entire industry. Her work serves as a reminder that with passion, hard work, and a little bit of luck, anyone can achieve their dreams and leave a lasting mark on the world. In 1969, Liv Ullman and Max von Sydow found themselves with available schedules when MGM canceled Man's Fate, directed by Fred Zinnemann. This fortunate turn of events led to their collaboration in the film The Night Visitor, where Ullman played the role of Esther Jenks. Ullman, a prominent figure in the film industry, is also a mother. She had a daughter, Lynn Ullman, with her frequent collaborator and writer-director, Ingmar Bergman. Lynn was born on August 9, 1966. On August 14, 2019, Turner Classic Movies honored Ullman's film work with a day dedicated to her movies during their Summer Under the Stars event. This recognition was a testament to her long-standing career and contributions to the film industry. Overall, Liv Ullman has made a significant impact on the film world, leaving a legacy that continues to resonate with audiences today. Liv Ullman, a renowned actress, is known for her work with director Ingmar Bergman. They collaborated on 10 films, including Face to Face, Autumn Sonata, and Persona. One notable anecdote from Ullman's life is an accident involving her cat and a washing machine. In addition to her acting career, Ullman is also the mother-in-law of Niels Frederick Dahl. Her work with Bergman is particularly noteworthy as the two of them explored complex emotional territories in their films. Some of their other collaborations include Saraban, Scenes from a Marriage, and The Serpent's Egg. They also work together on Shame, Hour of the Wolf, and Cries and Whispers. These films showcase Ullman's talent and versatility as an actress. Despite the occasional mishap, such as the washing machine incident, Ullman has had a successful career in the film industry. Her work with Bergman is a significant part of her legacy, and she is remembered for her powerful and nuanced performances. Liv Ullman, a renowned actress, took on the role of Kate Terhorst in the film A Bridge Too Far. Despite being a non-Dutch speaker, Ullman learned her lines for a significant speech phonetically. However, the speech was not understandable to native Dutch speakers, resulting in the addition of subtitles for the Dutch distribution. In The Night Visitor, Ullman reunited with her Swedish co-star Max von Sydow, who had been the male lead in three of her films directed by Ingemar Bergman. Their on-screen chemistry was undeniable, having previously worked together in Hour of the Wolf, Shame, and The Passion of Anna. Ullman's name and reputation were even referenced in the film SOB as motivation for Julie Andrews' character to do a partial nude scene. This reference highlights Ullman's significant impact on the film industry and her enduring legacy. Liv Ullman, a renowned Swedish actress, is known for her collaborations with director Ingmar Bergman and cinematographer Sven Nykvist. One of her notable roles was as Manuela Rosenberg in the film The Serpent's Egg. In 1978, 
Ullman served as a member of the official competition jury at the Cannes International Film Festival. Her name, Liv, is fittingly the Norwegian and Swedish word for life. Liv Ullman, a renowned actress, has showcased her exceptional talent in two films nominated for Best Picture Oscar, The Immigrants in 1971, and Cries and Whispers in 1972. Her remarkable performances have earned her a place among a select group of six performers with multiple Oscar nominations for foreign language films. This prestigious group includes Marcello Mastroini, Sophia Loren, Isabella Gianni, Javier Bardem, and Marion Cotillard. In 1980, Ullman was offered the role of Kate Miller in Dress to Kill by director Brian De Palma. However, she declined the role due to the film's violent theme and having a young daughter at the time. Ullman's Oscar nominations were for her performances in The Emigrants and Face to Face, both Swedish films. Her ability to captivate audiences and deliver powerful performances has left a lasting impact on the film industry and continues to resonate with viewers worldwide. Liv Ullman's father passed away during a brain operation when she was only six years old. This early loss likely shaped her life and career in many ways. In 1984, Ullman was selected as the head of the jury at the 34th Berlin International Film Festival, demonstrating her respected position in the film industry. Perhaps most notably, Liv Ullman's impact extends beyond her own career and into the names of future generations. B.B. Buell, a model a musician, named her daughter Liv Tyler after seeing Ullman's picture on a magazine cover the week she gave birth. This act highlights the significant influence Ullman had and continues to have in the entertainment world. Liv Ullman, a renowned actress, played Esther Jenks in the film The Night Visitor alongside fellow Oscar nominees Max von Sydow and Trevor Howard. Interestingly, Ullman is the only actress of Ingmar Bergman who claims not to have fallen in love with Erlen Jostin. In the star-studded film A Bridge Too Far, Ullman portrayed Kate Terhorst, joining a cast of eight Oscar winners, including Sean Connery, Michael Caine, and Anthony Hopkins, and five Oscar nominees, such as Ryan O'Neill and Liv Ullman herself. Ullman's impressive career includes notable roles in films with distinguished casts, demonstrating her talent and versatility as an actress. Liv Ullman, a renowned Norwegian actress, is often mistaken for Swedish due to her frequent collaborations with Swedish filmmaker Ingmar Bergman. This is particularly evident on the Internet Movie Database, where her nationality is listed as Swedish. Ullman served as the president of the official competition jury at the Five. Liv Ullman, the celebrated Swedish actress, is known for her collaborations with filmmaker Ingmar Bergman. However, a tragic fact in her life is the loss of her daughter, Lynn Ullman, who died at the age of 19 days in 1966 due to a heart defect. Despite this personal tragedy, Liv Ullman continued to act and direct, earning numerous accolades for her work. She has been nominated for two Academy Awards for Best Actress for her roles in Face to Face and The Immigrants. In addition, she has directed several films, including Faithless, which was written by Ingmar Bergman. Ullman's acting career spans over five decades, and she has worked in theater, film, and television. She has played a wide range of roles, from complex characters in art house films to more mainstream roles in Hollywood productions. Her work has been praised for its emotional depth and nuanced portrayals of women. In recent years, Ullman has continued to act and direct, and she has also become an advocate for women's rights and humanitarian causes. She has been recognized for her contributions to the arts and humanitarian work, receiving numerous awards and honors. Throughout her career, Liv Ullman has remained a respected and influential figure in the world of film and theater. Despite the personal tragedy she experienced early in her life, she has continued to inspire and captivate audiences with her powerful and emotive performances. We'd love to hear your thoughts on the remarkable career of Liv Ullman a legendary actress known for her powerful and moving performances. With a career spanning over five decades, she has left an indelible mark on the world of entertainment. Having worked with iconic directors like Ingemar Bergman, Ullman has delivered some of the most memorable and thought-provoking performances in film history. 
Her ability to bring depth and complexity to her characters has captivated audiences and critics alike. So, whether you've been a fan of Liv Ullman's work for years or are just discovering her legacy, we invite you to share your thoughts and reactions in the comments below. Let us know which of her performances has resonated with you the most and why. And if you enjoy this content, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more insights and celebrations of the creative spirits shaping entertainment. Your support helps us continue to create and share content that inspires and engages. Thank you for being a part of our community, and we can't wait to hear what you have to say about Liv Ullman's incredible career.